back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this makeup look that I'm wearing right now. It's like a pinks and purples. It almost looks like lavender. And it's super pretty. I use the Tarte Tartlet palette just by itself and then just one more shadow um, just to highlight with. But um, anyways, I show you step by step on how I did this look so that way you guys are able to recreate it yourself too. Feel free to change it to your own eye shape as well. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please like if you guys do and don't forget to subscribe. And so I hope you guys are able to pick up some tips and tricks on how to recreate this makeup look or even something similar to it. So let's just get into the tutorial. Alrighty, so let's get into the tutorial. My eyebrows are already filled in. My eyes are primed. If you want to know how I fill in my eyebrows, I will link a video down below of my eyebrow, eyebrow routine. It hasn't changed much. Um, for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the Tarte Tartlet Palette. So this is what it looks like. It's super pretty. Um, a lot of naturals, purples, and it's just really gorgeous to work with. So what we're going to do first is grab this color and it is called Natural Beauty. Taking the Anastasia brush, it actually just came in one, in one of her palettes. So I'm going to take a little bit of this just on the um, tip of the brush. And so wherever your crease is, this is where you're going to focus this color. So here's my crease right here. So I'm gonna start right by the um, arch of my eyebrow and just very lightly um, going into circular motions just to build the color up. So I'm just going to lightly blend this color out so that way we have a nice soft transition color. Just going back and forth. Again, I'm holding my brush towards the end so that way I don't get too much um, pressure on my eye, which will create more color, because I really just want this color to be nice and faint almost. So I'm gonna build it up a little bit more, so I'm gonna take a little bit more, and here I started, first I started right underneath the arch. Now I'm gonna do the same thing, but now I'm kinda just dragging it out a little bit, because this is more of a dramatic kind of um, winged out look. You don't have to do that. You could have you could have just stopped where I did then to your natural eye shape. But I'm gonna bring it out a little bit more just because this is gonna be more of that winged. It kind of um, el elongates your eyes as well. So I'm not picking up my brush. I'm just creating this shape very lightly with the tip of the bristles, going back and forth like that. And then lightly go over the edges of it so that is all blended out. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other eye. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the um, Milk Jumbo Eye Pencil from NYX. And I'm gonna be taking this little Sonia Kashuk brush that I've had a really long time. It's just nice and tiny. And what I'm gonna do, instead of running this on my lid just with a crayon itself, I'm gonna actually pick it up on the brush because we're going to apply a lighter pink color on our lid. But I really want to kind of carve out my lid so that way this eyeshadow only sticks to that area that I put the white um, cream color on. So just very lightly, first I'm just going right across my lashes, my inner corner, and then just pick it up as you need to. And then again, very slowly carve out your lid. And I'm going, I'm only going up until my crease. And then li literally right here at this top color, this is where the, the purple transition shade ends. So I'm just bringing it out a little bit right here. And then just take your ring finger and pat it out so it's not as sticky like that. Alrighty, so I did the other eye the exact same way I did this eye, just again, blend this out and let them follow out that winged um, transitional shade. Now I'm going to take this Sonia Kashuk brush. Um, it's just a little fluffy, but in the middle it's more tight, tightly packed. 
So in this palette, I'm gonna grab the color Caregiver, which is a really nice kind of muted pink. Place this color everywhere where we put down that pink or that white base. Alrighty, so I'm going to go back in with that transitional shade called Natural Beauty one more time on the same Anastasia brush. I'm going to go back in there and just kind of um, trace over the, this transitional shade one more time just to make sure I didn't lose any um, of this color while I was applying the lighter pink. Then what we're going to do is, one of my favorite brushes that I like to do kind of like this cut crease, um, this soft cut crease kind of look with is a really thin um, like crease brush. There is no name on this, oh there's a number, 634. Um, I don't remember where I got this from, but as you can see, it's super thin. So it's a super thin brush. and but it's not too tightly packed where it's unable to be blended out. So that's what I really like about this. So first off, I'm gonna be going into um, a lighter purple called Best Friend, and then we will intensify it with a darker one. Okay, so I'm gonna pick this up really just on the um, tip of my brush because we're lightly gonna start intensifying the cut crease. And then right here where our crease is more cut. I'm just gonna start right here underneath the arch of my brows. I'm holding my brush from afar and I'm lightly first, very, very lightly, if you can even see, I'm gently touching my crease. I'm bringing this in a little bit at a time, not too much. Picking up a little bit of color. Just really take your time with this and then lightly drag out this crease color. Just really take your time with this so that way you're not rushing, um, but you can build up the color intensity just little by little. So I'm gonna take this exact same brush and I'm gonna go in with the darker color called Bombshell, which is a deep, dark purple. And this, I'm literally gonna take just a little bit of it, again, on the same brush, just on the very tip of it. You can see it very, very lightly. Not much at all, tap it off. And I'm gonna stay right here underneath my arch because we just wanna create a little bit of definition and some depth in this look. Very lightly. And I'm not going all the way in with this color because I don't want it to close in my eyes. I really just want the definition and the depth right here in the outer part of my crease, right underneath the arch of my brow. And then fanning it out. So once I have that deepened up a little bit, I'm gonna go back in with my Anastasia um, blending brush. And again, I'm gonna go into the shade Natural Beauty, which was the first transitional shade that I used. I'm gonna take just a little bit of this and I'm gonna blend out the edges of this very lightly, making sure both sides are as even as you can get them. I'm gonna be doing Wings Aligner and I'm, gonna, and I'm going to be using my Elf, Elf, and I'm gonna be using my e.l.f. cream liner in just black. I'm gonna use my Sigma Small Angle E65 brush. Woo! I need a water break. That was intense. Alrighty, so I did my wings liner. Hopefully they, they look as even as you're gonna get today. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna just take a makeup wipe and just clean the edges. 
Okay, so for the face, I'm going to prime my face with the NYX Angel Veil. I always use this, it's one of my favorites. All right, so next for concealer, I'm gonna be using the Be Super Stay Better Skin one from Maybelline. So, now we're just going to set everything and I'm gonna be using my NYX Contour Palette. And to set my under eye concealer, I'm just gonna take this yellow tone shade right here um, and just set it, just use that powder to set my concealer. Alrighty, then I'm going to use my Makeup Forever HD um, high definition setting powder and use this for my face. Now I'm going to do, um, oh, I wanted to finish up the eyes. So once um, everything is done with the face, then I just go back and just do my highlight. Now I didn't want to do a matte highlight because this palette is all matte. Um, I felt like I needed to do a little bit of shimmer. Oh, one of my favorite highlights that I have been using recently is by Makeup Geek. And this is the shade um, Shimmer Shimmer. Super um, shimmery. Pick my same highlighting brush that I love to use, that I always use. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of this because this stuff is super pigmented. Tap off the excess. And what I'm gonna do is first I'm going to really just pat it in right here, right underneath my arch. You can see how pigmented that is, it's so pretty. And then I'm just gonna take the, the top bristles of it very lightly and just blend it over because really you just want the um, center of your arch to be the focus highlight right there. If you want, you could go back in with your um, blending brush and just blend the edges of that. Now onto the rest of the face. Using my Sephora uh, Micro Smooth Baked Sculpting Trio. This is for like um, contouring and highlighting and then a little bit of bronzer. What I use is the Kardashian Beauty Radiant Ombre Blush and this is in the color Glimmer. It's a beautiful like purple, pink, lavender kind of color and I thought it would go great like with the eyes. All right, so I'm gonna be taking the Champagne Pop um, from Jaclyn Hill and uh, Becca Cosmetics. I'm gonna take it with a Real Techniques contour brush. I use this brush so, for so many different things and now I'm using it for highlighting, so that's just what I'm gonna use it for today. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes, throw on some mascara, and then I will show you the lip color. Alrighty guys, so I did end up applying some false lashes. These are the Vegas Nay um, Shining Star Lashes from Eyler. My favorite lashes, you guys probably know that already. And then I did finish up the eyes. I did take um, Shimmer Shimmer from Makeup Geek one more time, and I just lightly, very lightly popped it in um, the center. And then um, what I did was I just applied some bottom mascara. And then I just smudged a very, very lightly of the color Best Friend. It very lightly just smudged that on my lower lash line, but I did not apply any eyeliner or anything. I just left that side blank. I'm show you guys what I'm going to do on my lips. I'm going to take the Sephora um, Cream Lip Stain in the color number 13. I'm going to just lighten it up a little bit with the um, e.l.f. matte lip color in the color natural. And this I'm just going to go on the center. Yeah, this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I had so much fun um, creating this look for you guys. and I hope you guys were able to learn some tips and tricks from me and how to do um, this eye look. It definitely just takes practice, lots of blending, and definitely take your time when you are doing a look like this. But the finished result is absolutely beautiful. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like if you guys did. Comment down below any videos that you guys would like to see from me next. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't yet so that way you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And I will talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye.